You have to make them pay. Carr flips it out to the near side. Jacob. Terrific tackle made by Brian Burns. Nice bounce back from what we saw a week ago. Draw play and no fooling the end Brian Burns on that one. Ornette trying to stretch it and off the backside the tackle is made by Brian Burns who caught up to Fournette. Well when they start having that kind of pursuit off the back end that's when you start thinking now Brady's a different story you know do we do a naked boot keep. I think he struggles a little bit as he continues to learn this offense. Herbert hit from behind the ball up in the air and it's incomplete. Well, no, it's rule of fumble. Burns hit him from behind, and there is no indication of an incomplete pass. Pollock is just a tad late getting that kick off the edge, and you're going to see Burns reach that right hand in there and just tip the ball from the hands of Justin Herbert. Question is, is that right arm coming forward as the ball comes out? Well, for a team that didn't have any sacks in its first two games, these Panthers are making up for lost time. In the second half, Herbert throws hit as he got rid of the football, and that is ruled a loose football again. Brian Burns in on the young quarterback. Just watch at the top of your screen, right there. He runs the runs the loop there, and he's able to get that left arm in there. You look at Tebby; he's having some challenges. Hopkins in motion. Edmonds caught in the backfield and dropped for a loss by Brian Burns. Well, just a great get off by Brian Burns. Just a great get off. Shooting that gap inside. Beats the down block of the tight end and making a tackle across the line of scrimmage. In this drive, they'll fake in pressure coming on Ryan. The ball's out. Carolina has caused a fumble, and it looks like the Falcons got it back. Hayden Hurst hustled back there to the tight end to get on it. And Justin Burris tries to scoop and score. Carolina crew does not get home. Right, the deep play action pass. There's Burns being an absolute factor. Just wins off the ball. Burris tries to go for pay dirt. And they work on this. Those DBs, those linebackers, that is a scoop and score. I, I don't mind that because that is a guaranteed seven. Burns loves the force fumble. Gain of 17 for the Bears leading receiver. And now Montgomery. Unable to find running room as he was tackled from behind by Brian Burns. Four man rush for the Panthers. They're going to get to Breeze. The sack of Drew Breeze. The ball is out at the 35 yard line, covered up by Carolina. Chris, no defense has sacked Drew Breeze more in his career than these Panthers. No, just a nice job of Burns coming in there and. Number one priority is attack the football. How you tackle. Man, that was good. Get second and eight. Breeze pass tipped at the line, and that is incomplete. Brian Burns, we've called his name a lot, mainly as a rusher. This time he goes back and gets the deflection to break up that pass. He fills the double team, and like all good pass rushers and instinctive guys, Reed gets his eyes back on the quarterback and with that giant wicks bang. Atlanta one timeout. Ryan brought down from behind in the tackle made by Burns. A gain of four to bring up fourth down. Based on that coverage, but you got the spin move right there by Brian Burns. He applies the pressure. Carolina's done a nice job. You're going to see the middle of the field here. Here's where he's trying to get it. Here's Hayden Hurst. He's trying to take the middle, and Ryan is reading it. That's where you got to go with the football. Hurst not able to get there soon enough prior to the pass rush. Brian Burns making an impact, but this pass rush on this series by this Carolina defense, really good. Second and ten. Le'Veon Bell in there. Mahomes on the keeper, and he is buried. Brian Burns was not fooled on the RPO, and the Panthers will call their second timeout. Where's 53? Okay, we're not going to run the RPO or the zone read that way. Uh, he, he has done this a couple of times today. He's just played it really, really well on the edge and has the athleticism to kind of look at the running back. Third and goal. Brady, pressure, looking to run, taken down. 
Brian Burns got to him as Brady's going to end up getting a yard, but it looks like the field goal team will come on. Brady step up and try to go to the end zone. Watch his reaction, how quickly right there just closes down, makes the tackle. Athletic to get to the backfield. Stafford swings it to Johnson, tipped away. Brian Burns with great hands as he tipped that one away on the swing attempt to carry on Johnson. Watch Burns pull off of his pass rush and get his hand up. And that's just being a football player. His job isn't to cover carry on Johnson. His job is to get to the quarterback, but he just reads the play and does a great job of batting it away and making a play for his buddies. On third and ten as the Panthers rush five, Stafford's in trouble, and Stafford is going to be sacked back at the 43. Well, Brian Burns is talked about not only by the upcoming opponents, but by other teams in the league. This is what he does as well as anybody. Watch the dip. Watch the lowering of the target. Right there, you see him lower that right shoulder. He swats the arm of Crosby, then he has a counter up a current, and he makes himself small. He's a lanky guy. And man, can he turn that corner. You got it. Stafford backside pressure from Burns. Gets away from Burns, but it's dropped by Zach Kerr. Disappointed Taylor Decker. And it's, you're going to see the freeze and the dip. But watch, here comes the freeze, then the dip. Watch the freeze right there. Set him up, then the dip. Now look at how low he's getting. He's lower than Taylor Decker. And he gets on that speed corner rush. It's over, but... Nobody has a freeze dip move like Brian Burns. From the 32 first down, pressure coming from Burns, and he gets to Stafford. Five sacks on the year for Brian Burns, one of the fastest in the league to the quarterback. I got him. No, I got him. Nobody's got him. You know, that's the easiest sack that Brian Burns will have all year because of a communication breakdown between running backs.